What's going on, everybody? I'm Jackie Idenisi for Entertainment Scoop, and we got Texas in the house. <laughs> we were vibing because I found out he's from Texas, and you know, Texas folk just get along with one another. Right, so we got right. J Rock here, and he's from Texas. So I already like him. <laughs> and you're nominated for two Grammys. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, were you expecting yeah. this, or what, what was your thought when you first found out about it? Well, I mean, no, I wasn't expecting it, but. I mean, given the artist that I'm working with who works tirelessly, she's a, um, a great entertainer, perfect wife that Jay-Z could ever have, <laughs> a, a beautiful mother, a beautiful daughter, and, um, and the amount of time that she puts into her craft, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, it goes without uh, recognition. Take me back to that time when you guys were working in the studio. I didn't know it was in New York, but it was during the hurricane. Everything's going crazy. What was it like? I mean, it was a little, little madness because, you know, outside of the studio, you know, there were thousands and thousands of people out, you know, wandering around because they had no place to go. Wow. No lights, no water, no gas. That's crazy. You know, so people were, re it was almost like, the, you know, apocalypse, like it was just people walking around like zombies. Mm -mm. And here we are, you know, we're, we're caught up in, you know, the midst of this and the true passion came out of it. Right. Because like, I was in the middle of the ground, I was like, wow, man, mm -hmm. this is what it feels like to really rough it. Do you think, given the situation, um, did it affect the music at all that you guys were writing? During that time, we were doing, like, uh, On the Run, which came out of that, and we did Rocket to Waterfall. Wow. That we, that time, we yeah. were out there, no way. You know, I wouldn't think of something so, like, so well, I guess soothing. The song is very... Yeah. You know, it just makes you feel a certain way, yeah. calms you down calms a little bit, down, and yeah. you know, makes sense for such a chaotic week. Well, it's like, can we work on some slow tones because <laughs> any of this high-pitched stuff, it will give me some anxiety. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's just like, you know, the song gives you a sense of uh, assurity, mm -hmm. comfort with you and your mate. Right. You know, you know just to let, let each other know that even in the midst of a storm around us, we can still somehow come together and I can still wow. please you. And what's been a memorable moment working with her? I remember she used to always just come in the studio dressed in character. Dressed in character? What does that mean? Like whatever mood she was feeling that day. She would dress? She would dress. <laughs> oh, but what do you mean, like style or actually dressed in a character? In character, like if she feel like she wanted to wear some crazy polka dots with a colorful hat with some crazy look. You know, shades on that says like 2014 with you know. Are you serious? She'll come in, you that know. That is classic. Just kind How of funny. Light, yeah, just to kind of light the spirits on people. Yeah. Very, you know, she makes you very comfortable to work with. You know, that's awesome. Because she's, she's a hard worker. She has a lot mm -hmm. on her plate, and you know, I mean, I couldn't be a woman like that. <laughs> you, know, you have a kid, a husband, a career. Yeah. And then you have to inspire, you know, other women as well. Mm -hmm. That's a lot on your plate. To enjoy. How do you find that sound? When you say music for the world, not country, not West Coast, East Coast, what is that sound to you that just really touches everybody? It's a sound that everyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. Like everybody knows what a doorbell sounds like. <laughs> right? That's true. Yeah. So it's just got to be just that common. I see. You know, like yeah. this sound has to be just as recognized as a, as a, a car horn. Mm, got that it. people are like, oh wow, I like that sound, or oh, I recognize that sound. So you know, some some of us we try to push the meters too much, and it becomes a weird sound. I see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of a, a recognizable sound or something that's nostalgic. When you're producing a song. What, what, what is the start and how do you get the sound? What do you do with the system? What is the system? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't, I can't say for red me like, yeah, my sound starts with, you know, me getting up in the morning and I brush my teeth and the water <laughs> coming in and had a, hey. had a drip. And I'm like, drip, Whoa. drip. But, that, but hey, yeah, right? Happens, That's what I'm though. asking. That's really cool. You can yeah. get inspired from a thing. Yeah, you get inspired from, from anything. Wow. You know, so. Yeah. But when when you when it comes, then that's when you try to harness it uh -huh. and home in or home on it, and then you you know sometimes I have to get it like a my iPhone. And I'm like, oh, I like to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got enough of that. Yeah. And I go to the studio. I say, it won't last long. Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, like, good. Oh, Thank okay, goodness for technology. Exactly. Right. Because back then I would have to like hold it in my head. For, <laughs> please don't turn leave. Turn off all music. Turn the AC off, I don't want to hear nothing when I'm driving to the studio. Yeah. Like, just weird quiet. <laughs>
keep that sound in my head. Yeah. That's the keyboard. I hurry up and get it out. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm curious, what is the first song that you, or first beat that you heard in your head and you were like, this is it. Just your favorite song that you ever put together. And what was it inspired from? I was in the fourth grade. Really? You remember? I remember okay. Verbatim. And um, my sister was around the house saying something. She says she said a word, mm -hmm. and it had a tone to it, and it had like a melody to it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what was that? So I went to the piano, and I started composing. A, a, what we call a minuet. Mm -hmm. I composed a minuet, and I gave it to my um, my music teacher. Oh, I, well, I played it in a recital. Yeah. And she she was like, where'd you get that song from? I was like, oh, my sister was saying something in the house. <laughs> and I just went to the piano, because we were, my sister was all of, we were, I come from a musical family. Okay. So it was always music in the house. I see. Always I see. some noise. There's okay. six of us, so oh, wow. a lot of noise. Yeah, so, I can imagine. Wood floors, everybody running around. Yeah. So I had a, a beat up old upright piano. I had notes missing at the That's end That's so of it. awesome. So that was my first song I ever composed, and I won, uh, Texas Junior Comp Composition Award. Well, you like instruments, a lot of instruments play into that. Piano, anything else? Oh, well, I study woodwinds. Woodwinds, I don't, I'm not sure what that is. What like are woodwinds? Your saxophones, your oboes, your clarinets, you know. Texas, so you were a band geek. Texas band Were you a band geek? You I were. Was band president. Uh, but I was... Do you ever look back at all the people that made fun of me and be like, I just, you know, made music <laughs> for... Justin Timberlake and Michael Jackson, all these people. Oh yeah, my Facebook page is um, quite full from all my friends. <laughs> That's really cool Grand though. Texas. You give people in the band hope. I do. That's awesome. I also have it's a cool to be a band geek. Yes. You have a scholarship for ba uh, for schools. For for kids who want to uh, uh, you know go to school for any arts. For the people that have gotten the scholarship, just what's one thing that they've told you that like really touched your heart? Because I know. Oh, man. You're doing a lot for them, you know? One of my best friends, James Prince, he has a nephew. And <clears throat> I didn't know it was his nephew. Oh. He was one of the finalists of the scholarship. And, you know, I, when he won, I didn't know it was him until he sent me a, uh, a letter Aww. thanking me. It's like, you know, my parents didn't know where the money was going to come from. Didn't know how they were going to get me to school. And this this scholarship, which is a thousand bucks, Mm -hmm. Just it was what the, exactly what they needed mm -hmm. in a time of you know. Of course, thousand dollars goes very long way. Yeah, so I was really touched by that because you know I could spend a thousand a day and don't even know what I did with it. Right. But to, and you know, but to see that this really affected a whole family mm -hmm. and helped them out, I mean, I, I, it's gratifying. I do it over and over again. But any other ventures outside of um, music that you're trying to dabble in? Well, Maybe singing or. No, I'm, um, no, because I'm a Texan. Okay. And because um, in Texas, trucks and trucking business is very big business. I'm, uh, I've opened up my own trucking and leasing company. That's awesome. That's yeah. completely different from music. Exactly. I'm a West Texas guy. You're like, you have to have your Texas roots still. Got to.